Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about things that you should know before buying Wiglot. In a previous video I already showed how to install, how it works Wiglot and doing here a more straightforward video. Wiglot has been a really good plugin and I actually do recommend it for all those WordPress websites and even Shopify websites. Here I have my basic Elementor page and as you can see and the thing that you must know is that you don't have to really worry about the translations uh, for example here i already have the english version and if we go here and change then actually about worrying about if you have to spend time on translating your website then no don't worry about that and here we can go to the basic translation or to the translation manager where you can see you can do the manual translation. So here is a thing that you must know that in case you do a type of change in any sentence, for example, let's start to look for this, the one that it was like the start page. For example, we have here like sentences that we have the best experience ever and fine food cuisine. So, because I, there's a thing that I want to show you and please keep in mind this, this number as well, the 1,122, because if we go to the Elementor page and if we do a minor change for a word or we, or if we duplicate this one and and for example, I just did this duplicate, even if it's the same, ex almost the exact same sentence, then Wiglot will take it as a totally different sentence. So if we go back here and probably will take a little bit of time, we, we and change it to English. Okay. So you can see here that number 1000. 122 and as you can see it increased by eight the number of words so even if you have like this exact same almost the exact same translation or the exact same sentence then we got will take it as another total sentence so that's another thing you have to consider on your word count because uh, there's also the important thing uh, to tell that since Wiglot it's measured by the number of word limit and the word count and having repeated sentence like these ones then this could affect your word count so consider that when you have the, the plan that you choose you already know that there are different plans and as I have mentioned before, the ones that I recommend is probably yes, the pro version and but under three languages, because if you have the five languages, it's pretty and it's too much probable that you will find this or you will reach these 2000 words easily. And as you can see here, jumping from the yearly subscription then to the advanced, it will be a higher jump, 1,500 euros in this case, almost there. For example, I have here my website, that, but I use WPML. And if I go here to just one sample, you can see here that I have the website on English. And if I change it to Spanish, then you can actually change the URL slug. So you can only do this with Wiglot, with the advanced plan. And yes, that will help you to improve your international SEO, but you will need the advanced plans. Of course, you will have also the word count limit up to like 1 million words and up to 10 languages. But as I recommend, keep it at below the five or even three languages so that you cannot or avoid reaching out this word limit 
because otherwise if you will need more languages or more words, you will have to reach out for a better enterprise. So those are things to consider when using Wiglot. Of course, it's really fast and it will help you on your website speed. And also, let me show you that in case that you deactivate, let's go here to plugins, uh, you won't have that problem of, let's go here back to the visit store. Well, we don't have here the anymore the language. But on the pages here, you don't have any duplicated pages in case you deactivate. And in WPML, actually, you have duplicated, but I will leave that for the WPML Wiglot video. So those are some things that I wanted to show about Wiglot. I hope that this video helped you. If you have more questions about Wiglot, don't hesitate to write in my comments. Thanks for watching.